I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch! Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. First take, I'm hotter than hot, hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot. Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot. I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot. I'm tapping in, I'm passionate, this is what passion is. This here, nah, this is no accident. From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in. I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it Welcome, everybody, and we are fired up for another sensational college football matchup. Nobody at home today who can stake their claim in this neutral site showdown. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and when you've got a team that makes it into the top 25, now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 13 team in the country, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. This defense better have a lot of breath in this game, too, because he gets better as the game goes on. He's the kind of guy, David, who can wear a defense down. And he fires a ball, and now it's picked off. If that's setting the tone, then the tone is screeching nasty fingernails on the biggest chalkboard in the world. But I like it. You're throwing on the first play of the game, right? You're trying to be aggressive. You're trying to send a message to the defense that... You're going to take shots and you're going to push the football down the field, but come on, man. I mean, you've practiced the opening play for this game all week long. You've executed it. From the gun, wants to pass. They're trying to get to it. Trying to make magic with his feet. This senior quarter. Buy himself time, get outside the pocket, and at that point, I think the decision was pretty easy. Hey, I can go get this with my feet. He was able to do that. Now they got a fresh set of down. Got some room in it. They score fast. They don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They're going to be a problem for defenses all year long. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Wants to throw. It's Kane. Throwing right. Face to grab. And they'll find keeping everything in front. Great job keeping everything in front. And most importantly, making the tackles. Dropping back. Fires into traffic. Intercepted. He'll try to take it back. Not only made the pick, but he also made up some ground and took it back to the 38. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Last incompletion. It's second and ten from the 38. They think they can create space here with a run to the right. Open space at the 25. 
That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. This guy's been so much fun to watch all year long. Every single week, he's making defenders look silly trying to tackle him with that last play. Now over at this decision. They've swapped into the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Field goal is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. Utah is trailing right now, but it's only a couple of points. That quarterback just needs to show the poise of a young Alex Smith, and they are right back in this. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing. By to the air, it's Leonard. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. That's what's so the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. Trying to push their way into the end zone on third and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Notre Dame! They are seizing control and taking the way home as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. You just simply can't say enough about this guy and what he has meant to this offense. Big time players make big plays in big games. He has shown up each and every week. That's it. Here comes the Yellow Jacket offense. They just haven't been able to get anything going, and they better get started or it's going to. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. The Irish generating heat from the linebacker position. Uh, Mike Stonebreaker, Manti Teo type play. Hey, when you can get linebackers that can get after the quarterback, that can be a force on first, second, and third down, get in the quarterback's face. He's looking to throw. Going up top. And that ball is picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Who says defensive backs don't have hands? Nice job breaking on the football and making the catch. A lot of times you see guys swat it down or you see them trying to catch it. Looks like they have two left hands. Defensive backs don't catch real well. Nice job breaking on the football. Nice job securing the INT and actually catching it. This one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time. Open runway ahead. He's at the 10. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. On third and long from the 44. From the gun, wants to pass. He lost it high and deep down the left side. Makes the grab, gets the foot down, just precision execution on that big play. And how about the big strike down the field? I love when offenses take shots down the field, try to make big plays. Now they're set up in the red zone. and puts three on the board. And now the lead is even bigger. Final few seconds and not allow them to answer. He'll start the return inside his spot. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. 
All right, thanks, guys. And through two quarters of ball, it looks like we're in for another fun one here today. These two defenses have really been up to the task so far, and it's hard to ignore how each of these two secondaries have impacted things. They've stayed true to their assignments, covering each receiver like a blanket. And you know what else they've done? They've wrapped up and tackled. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. On the run, it's Young. What a cut! Now he's loose! And he was... Quarterback just still tried to put it on him and, and give him an opportunity, but great tackle, short of the stick, setting up fourth down. He got it. And that lead grows even bigger. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Utah has the lead right now, but this Rice Eccles crowd is restless. They just haven't been able to separate themselves yet today. They're up by seven over TCU. Just another week of college football where we've come. It's really a difficult route to defend against if you're a DB and man coverage, especially when you have no help on the inside. So through the offense, we continue seeing that coverage. They'll settle for a field goal try. And this one only 35 yards out, but not straight away. This one from the left hash. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. receiver coming across in motion touch pass on the jet sweep got enough for the first and he's still going they're in the red zone and they'll pass it just too much heat that time and they knock him down at the 31 guys we've come to the end of the quarter and Notre Dame has the lead let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up Dropping back, it's Leonard. Looking left. This will be picked off, maybe just the turning point they needed. The sudden change on the turnover, and Manning was looking for running room. Couldn't find that, but they'll have it at the 22. All right, sense of urgency now has to go through the roof of this team. They needed their defense to come up with that turnover right there. So if you're on offense, you got to get these plays called. you got to get aggressive, take some shots, because you Bottom line, when plays present themselves, you just simply got to make them. Off play action. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And the defense loves being in this type of situation, right? You've got a big lead. It's in the fourth quarter. You know the opponent's going to be throwing the football, so you get your best pass rushers coming off the edge, using that speed, dipping and ripping, getting to the quarterback for another big play. Completion, but because they were able to rally and make the tackle, now they set up fourth. Throws to the wideout. And he's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been up to speed. His third interception. Couldn't find a ton of room on that return, but that small change, they take over at the 43. Mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions. But I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did on the first part of that drive that made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback. Man, I tell you what, it takes a little bit longer to develop. So as a quarterback, you know you got to buy a little bit of time. Mad respect, man. Hanging in there, knowing he's going to get hit, but still making the big play. Quarterback on the keeper. And he'll fly his way in for the score. It's just so nice to have a signal card 
who can make plays through the air and make plays with his feet like this. Runs in for the touchdown. The defense knows I have to account for him every play. That's my quarterback. That incompletion. Looking for a man. It's King. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. And in this offense, you know as a quarterback, you're going to get opportunities to put up some pretty big numbers. You've been impressed watching this guy play early this year. With that last pass completion, he's now already over 2,000 yards on the season. Exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. And the coaching cost your defense 15. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sends it the other way. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. On. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. Little touch pass to the receiver. Across the 45. Eight of the blocks. How about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carry? No, no good. Really had a chance to stretch it out there, but I think they'll live with a 20-point lead. they call it a game of inches, David, but I'll say this. If you're on offense, don't go on social media this week. It ain't going to be pretty. Brings it in down the left side. They make the stop, but that's going to do it here as time has expired, and that'll just serve to pad the stats. Winning those individual six-second battles every play, time after time after time after time, and that leads to a victory here. And I love when teams go out and play like it's sudden death. Like if they lose the game, their entire season is over. This game wasn't for the national championship, but wouldn't, you wouldn't know that watching this winning team, David. Tremendous effort and tremendous execution. Now, I love competitive people. I love competitive coaches. I love competitive teams that they know that their job is to go out and get a W no matter how, no matter where you play. You want to play in the parking lot? We'll go meet you. Great job of this team being ready, getting the W.